So I've been saying pretty much since day one that Trafficking Hub is a campaign created by a couple of right-wing anti-abortion, anti-LGBT, anti-porn organizations to basically ban sex workers from online platforms. Um, and I was right. <laughs> So one of the things that they're focusing on right now is basically sending a letter to all the major credit card companies and telling them not to process payments for adult content anymore. I just remember it as morality and media, uh, but now they call themselves the National Center on Sexual Exploitation because they realize that this would get them more attention and would get them more funding. Um, but they're basically doing the same thing. They've always campaigned against profanity and um, anything that was sexual in nature that was allowed to exist, same-sex marriage. Patrick Truman is one of the heads of this organization and he was the senior legal counsel for the Family Research Council. If you don't know that organization, it's very, very anti-LGBT. He was also like the former head of, I don't even remember what it, what the name of it was, but it's a government agency that used to exist which prosecuted obscenity. Uh, people don't know this, but it used to be illegal to like make pornographic content in the US. Like that was something that was prosecuted. You were not allowed to have it. It was against the law. <laughs> like people don't remember that, but there were obscenity laws and there was a whole obscenity division that was focused on prosecuting people for having pornographic nudes and content. Hence why like nude magazines used to be very controversial and now they're not. But that is the kind of past that these people want to get back to. They want to go back to the Hays Code and the time when obscenity was against the law and the time when homosexuality was against the law and you had vice divisions that would crack down on sex workers and, and the LGBT community. Like that is their glory days. That's what they want to go back to. I made a blog post that basically goes over the people who are running this whole entire thing. So the people who are part of Trafficking Hub, they have some partnership with BBC. Like BBC has been giving them really favorable um, coverage that is very manipulative. Like in the article that was written by the BBC, uh, they said a letter seen by the BBC or something like that. And it was so manipulative because this letter is public. It's not like the BBC got exclusive rights to this letter. And the journalists that have also covered this will actually cite the BBC and be like, well, according to the BBC, it's like, no, you don't need to go by the BBC. They're cherry picking stuff. They're like partnered with these organizations for reasons I don't know, but they've been covering them very favorably. But this letter is public. Anyone can read it. And I actually included it on my website. I'll probably link it in the description as well. Um, but I'm going to read you parts of the letter to show you what I'm talking about. This is not like a very hidden agenda, but they're very, they're working really hard to curate this narrative that isn't true. They're not doing this for the children. They are doing this because they want to ban porn and they want to ban sex workers from the ability to make a living. That's really their whole goal. We are writing to you to request that your company stop processing payments for the pornography industry. It is first vital to recognize that the pornography industry does not judge or verify consent in any videos on their site, let alone live webcam videos. So they're going after webcam girls. <laughs> like, it's so obvious. Let alone live webcam videos. Like, they're going after everything. Some sites, such as Pornhub, which is one of the largest and most mainstream pornography sites. So in the letter, if you notice, if you, I, I encourage you to read it. Pornhub is just an example that they give. It's just one, it's one sentence. Like, oh, Pornhub is an example, but the whole industry is like this. And that's, I, th I think, the issue, especially a lot of sex workers are basically rallying against Pornhub because yes, a lot of these companies are exploitative. So is OnlyFans. OnlyFans is exploitative too. So I don't really like, I think what a lot of sex workers are doing is they're creating this false binary that doesn't exist. They're like, okay, well, this one company is bad. Yes, I agree. But all the, the OnlyFans is not and webcam, webcamming is not exploitative at all. And this stuff never happens there. But like, again, a lot of the stuff that they talk about happens in all platforms. On YouTube, there has been pedophile rings. 
seriously look it up um, on Twitter as well on Instagram like all these sites have these issues that we need to address but banning sex workers is not the way to go and kind of blaming us for all these issues is also not gonna work so the letter goes further to say that it is impossible to assume to assume the pornography industry is ever capable of producing a real metric to measure consent in any pornography on its site, aside from complaints from victims of non-consensually shared porn. So um, they say that the pornography industry has no metric to measure consent, and therefore it it's probably all just not consensual anyway. And I also love that there's a whole paragraph that talks about how obscenity used to be very illegal and is still illegal and therefore we should go back to the good old days. Now again, I just told you who the founder of this is and what his job used to be, um, so it should be very clear of what they're trying to do. Uh, further, in America, all commercial distribution of obscenity is illegal under a federal law that has been upheld twice by the Supreme Court. While this law has not been enforced for a few years, uh, there's a growing national interest in enforcement. They just, they just want to go back to it so badly. They just want it so bad. Um, by the way, this law would make it so that we wouldn't just criminalize um, child porn or, or porn that is made unconsensually. This would criminalize obscenity across the board. So even if you are an adult, even if you are consenting, it does not matter. That's what they want to go back to. That's the law that they're talking about, in case you weren't aware. The example that they want all the credit card and banking companies to follow is the example of PayPal, which uh, PayPal is very anti-sex worker. They will freeze sex workers' account, they will take our money, and they will kick us off. So that's the example they give of an ethical company and what they would want all the other uh, credit card companies to do as well. So if you're a sex worker, they consider you to be a part of the pornography industry. Um, you have to understand how these people um, define these terms, right? So sexual exploitation, um, sex trafficking, um, they use a very vague and broad term and it's basically anything that offends them. NCOSE recently did a campaign um, against Shakira and JLo's halftime show. They were very upset and they said that the halftime show that they put on where they were dancing and singing and semi-pool dancing. I mean, it wasn't really that great, the pool dancing, but <sighs> they said that it was child exploitation and it was creating the demand for sex trafficking and therefore it's bad and NFL should apologize or, you know, do something against it. So they had a campaign and some people did sign it, um, but that's those are kind of the examples of the campaigns that they do. Other things that they do include um, making sure that Businesses do not sell Cosmo, uh, Sports Illustrated, which they also think fuel the demand for uh, sex trafficking. They also think that's child exploitation, uh, so they make sure that those aren't being sold um, in certain stores, um, actually stores in general. Um, they make sure that if you are in a hotel or in the airplane or wherever, you know, and you're on your Wi-Fi, that you can't watch porn or any rated R websites. Like, you can't be on any rated R websites. They're the ones who do that shit. They're, they're those people. So to them, sexual exploitation and sex trafficking is basically anything that offends them. It is for these reasons that we call on your company to stop processing payments for the pornography industry. The global human rights community would commend you. And it'll be good for business is another thing that they argued in there. Um, yeah, th this is what the campaign has always been from the very beginning. This is what the Trafficking Hub movement really is. And if you have funded the Trafficking Hub movement, just so you know, you're, you're giving money to these hate organizations. You're giving your money to NCOSE um, and to Exodus Cry. And they're both hate organizations, so yeah. <laughs> So one of the things that they did with their money is they expanded operations. So now they have another organization that is run by the same exact people, um, but now it makes them look like they have more support. Like it's more of a grassroots thing, like everyone's just like supporting this anti-porn crusade. There was the National Center on Sexual Exploitation and now there's the International Center on Sexual Exploitation. So it's the same people, and that's what they're using your funding for. Stop giving these people money. Like, they're bigots. They're gonna use it for bigoted causes. They don't care about the children. Like, this is not a campaign for the children. 
It's just because they are very fragile people who cannot stand that the society is not WASP-centered as much as it used to be. And they just want to go back to the good old days where they were just like policing anybody that offended them and policed people that they felt shouldn't exist, you know? So Layla, who is one of the co-founders, um, one of the heads of Exodus Cry, who is the one who made the Trafficking Hub petition, by the way, she says, to be clear about Pornhub specifically, the card companies aren't involved with payments to those who produce the content, but only involved in the processing of premium memberships that benefit Pornhub slash MindGeek. So the card companies disengaging should only impact the company. This is a load of bullshit. <laughs> where, where does she think the money goes to? Like it goes to the performers and they are specifically reaching out to the card companies to not process any uh, adult content anymore for anybody. They are going to make the other card companies do what Pornhub has been doing, which is kicking all sex workers and anyone who sells porn off their platform and basically stealing your money. That's what they want. <laughs> That's These are the people that created that situation in the first place. I'm gonna end this video there, but I encourage you to check out my blog post and my content. Um, I do produce a lot of stuff, so yeah, check it out. Let me know what you think.